we got a little jumbled around complementary angles. So I'm going to go ahead and move my finger and we're going to read with my finger because I couldn't hear if we all said the words correctly. So let's try that again. One, two. By the end of class, I will be able to identify and solve for complementary angles and supplementary angles by subtracting the correct angle measurement. Beautiful. So much better. Yeah, it, it helps a lot. And how does it, it help? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but how does it help? How does it help? <laughs> Instead of the teacher saying it, like we say it, and like if we say it, then we can like we learn it better. Like, you know, like I think so. Well, yeah, because somebody said because we somebody so tell me I need some help with this, and this is a big one. I have middle schools that are telling me. The kids, middle schoolers, think that's babyish to read it up. It's not babyish. I know, I know. It's not babyish. But you're standing with people real loud and they're reading in their head. Nice. And we can want to speak to each other. We can learn it. Yeah, yeah. Speaking to each other. You read just the vocabulary sometimes, just the harder words. Nice. You write sentences about it. Yes. But we put vocabulary words so we can understand more. 98% of our 96% of our students are Hispanic and 96 are free and reduced lunch. Okay. We always choral read our objective every day. I spend a good like almost five to six minutes on it different ways to do it. Um, so a math vocabulary is very big, especially with the STAR test. Um, they're not always going to give you pictures or things like that. So I've done, I went to a training with Miss Silva and Joseph, and um, what really hit hard was that I wanted my kids to make sure that they felt comfortable in my class to even try those vocabulary words in class. And uh, um, and with my new students, I've had a lot of um, newcomers come in within this year since Christmas. And the newcomers that I've already had in my classroom since the beginning of the year, they've embraced them a whole lot more. My students are, okay, can he sit with me? Because I know that he might need help with working with this. Or Can you talk about the difference in rules for my classroom versus this social contract. Say that they held themselves at a higher standard than what I told them to do because they were holding themselves to what they had agreed upon together. And those words 50 or 60 times, then when it's time for them to want to participate, they actually do participate because they practice. God, that's fantastic. That's Talking fantastic. about circumference of circles, and that's hard word even for English and so he said I want to answer but can I have a moment with my group so that I can learn how to say it first and then he answered and I was just like ah oh. <laughs> that's the gold right so how long have you been teaching this is my first year can you believe it <laughs> no we're so excited we're so excited to have you because it's 